wonder what life in the future will really be like. I certainly do. Well, the folks at National Geographic are bringing together the brightest minds in science, technology, and even science fiction to give us a glimpse into what awaits humanity in the years and centuries to come. Their predictions are showcased in a new six-part series, Year Million. And some of the predictions are jaw-dropping, including this one. In the near future, tragedy may come with new choices. Imagine you've been in a car crash that's killed your daughter. Hey, is she okay? Is she okay? Time of death, 9-17. Your daughter's brain was not impacted by the accident. If you wish to scan her brain for digitization and upload, you have approximately five minutes. Do it. Now imagine the power you wield when you can order a digital copy of your daughter's brain. And do you know what comes next? Hi, Dad. One day delivered to your doorstep is an artificially intelligent android that will act, look, emote, just like your daughter. Okay, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I'm not this. ready. Dave O'Connor is Year Millions executive producer and CBS science contributor. Dr. Michio Kaku is a renowned futurist. Good morning, gentlemen. Thanks for being here. Morning. Michio, let me start with you. Uh, in that clip, it says, in the near future. How near is that future? Well, first of all, the, the show, Year Million, I think shows a thrilling and exciting future, but there are some speed bumps along the way. <laughs> yeah. And I think that we have robots today that are quite clunky. You yeah. see them walking down the hall, they fall over, and yeah. they're like a turtle upside down. But computer power doubles every 18 months. 18 months. Every 18 months, computer power doubles, wow. meaning that in the next few decades, we will have something approaching digital immortality. Wow. That is, robots that can talk and simulate much of human thought and human behavior. Dave, artificial intelligence is moving forward. What about hybridized humanoid artificial intelligence, the combination of the two? I think it's interesting because there's this debate in the community about whether we are going to make ourselves completely obsolete and almost destroy humanity mm -hmm. by creating this artificial intelligence, yeah, or are we just evolving with the technology and enhancing ourselves? And those are the type of things that we wanted to explore on the show with, with thinkers like Michio. Michio, 20 years from now, how different do you think our lives actually going to be? I think it'll be quite different. For example, the internet will probably be in your contact lens. So I'll simply blink yeah. and I'll access the Library of Congress. Any movie, any, any biographical information about anyone you, you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So I think in a 20 years time, we're gonna see a revolution as artificial intelligence, as virtual reality become part and parcel of our lives. Mm -hmm. And there's a speed bump there. <laughs> what happens when virtual reality becomes so attractive yes. that people don't wanna leave? Right. Like the, if, if they're, uh, drug addicts, for example. We've already seen that with, with drugs. Are we going to enter the matrix? It seems like one of the places that we explore in the show is this idea that we are going to all connect our brains into something that is called the metaverse, which is this hyper-realized essential virtual reality existence that we can plug into. Now, is that a matrix-like dystopian terrible thing or is it just a way for us to completely enhance our experiences as humans those are the big questions that we have to ask ourselves today as these technologies are getting built right now yeah what happened I mean, speaking of technologies are getting built we're looking at the idea of driverless cars now and, and the whole possibility that the cars running without drivers will be more efficient than we are yeah. which raises the whole question of, of essentially we replacing ourselves with robots or, or, or AI I mean how quickly is that coming well, realize that the jobs that are affected are basically jobs that are dirty, dull, dangerous, yeah. the three Ds. That's where robots are going to have a big impact doing jobs like diffusing explosives and doing jobs that really put humans in danger. Now, eventually, we may have to worry about jobs that are like middle class jobs. Yeah. But I think in the, in the initial phases, when robots start to enter the marketplace, they will be doing the jobs that humans don't want to do, that are too dangerous and too dull and too repetitive. Well, the, it is a brave new world, and it is at our doorstep. Doctors, great to see you. Mm -hmm. Michio Kako, Dave O'Connor, thanks so much for being with us. You can catch Year Million Monday nights on the National Geographic Channel.